Yeah, this tournament started uh, in 2012 uh, as the first uh, campus cricket tournament, uh, the international flavor. Every year, other than uh, last, except for last year, uh, since the pandemic broke out in March, we couldn't have the tournament last year. But uh, right throughout from 2013, the uh, national Red Bull Campus Cricket National Finals have been uh, played. So its uh, whole idea is to take the players into a, a different level and give them the uh, exposure in the World Finals where you stay in a five-star hotel, you travel in luxury buses, you play in uh, first-class uh, or international venues and you uh, are given uh, exposure that never a campus cricketer will uh, experience. So that's the whole idea of the Red Bull Campus Cricket uh, Tournament. This year, at the moment, the World Finals is scheduled to be held uh, in uh, Oman. Uh, towards the end of uh, this year. So hopefully uh, the pandemic situation will ease off and we will be able to play the uh, World Finals uh, in Oman. Uh, this year's tournament, uh, the standard of cricket has grow, uh, grown. Uh, we have uh, seen some good uh, competition. All the sides that played, uh, played very good cricket. And uh, last year's champions and runners have been uh, basically out of the tournament uh, this year so far uh, qualified they have not qualified for the semi-final so it's it's something that we will have a, a new champion and a new runner-up uh, this year so that's something which is interesting and uh, it shows that the cricket has been taken seriously by the campuses in Sri Lanka uh, yes, for the fans, we have unfortunately uh, will not be allowing fans inside the grounds, but uh, it's Papare.com is covering it live on semi-finals and finals. So we will request all the fans to come and cheer, cheer them, uh, support them online and uh, see your uh, teams uh, winning the Red Bull Campus Cricket National Finals and the winners will qualify to play in the World Finals in Oman during the latter part of the year.